Nine countries that have almost no immigrants. Nine, Philippines. Share of immigrants, 0.2%. There are more than 10 million Filipinos overseas. However, foreign immigration to the Philippines is limited. There's a lot of internal migration. Some islands are threatened by climate change. Others have seen armed conflict. As a result, the Philippines has its hands full with internally displaced persons. 8. North Korea. Share of immigrants, 0.2%. This number comes from the United Nations. But the UN relies on official North Korean reports. North Korea claims that South Koreans are defecting in droves. They're counted as immigrants, but not foreigners. These data are impossible to verify. 7. Sri Lanka. Share of immigrants, 0.2%. Sri Lankans are leaving, but nobody is coming to take their place. Sri Lanka does not accept immigrants. It offers no integration options. Moreover, Sri Lanka is politically unstable. Currency depreciation and hyperinflation scare off foreigners. For now at least, it's not an attractive destination. 6. Vietnam. Share of immigrants, 0.1%. Vietnam has actually seen an increase in immigration. Most people arriving in Vietnam are Vietnamese. These are former immigrants who decide to return. During COVID, there was an influx of Chinese immigrants. But Vietnam has tense relations with China. So the government used the pandemic as a pretext. Immigration was practically shut down. The restrictions were only lifted recently. 5. Myanmar. Share of immigrants, 0.1%. Myanmar is a military dictatorship. There are lots of immigrants, especially in India and Thailand. But nobody wants to move to Myanmar. The country is closed and doesn't issue visas easily. 4. Indonesia. Share of immigrants, 0.1%. Indonesia is very hostile to migrants. Immigrants are denied basic rights and opportunities. In fact, Indonesia doesn't even recognize their existence. Healthcare and education are practically inaccessible. Racial and religious discrimination are rampant. All this makes Indonesia unattractive to immigrants. 3. China. Share of immigrants, 0.1%. People think of Japan as homogenous. Yet even Japan's share of immigrants is 2%. But China is an outlier. It desperately needs more people. The population is declining and aging. There aren't enough laborers. China has come up with plenty of policies to solve the crisis. But immigration is not one of them. China is simply not interested in attracting non-Chinese. Any kind of diversity is frowned upon by the government. As Xi Jinping proudly boasted in 2017, We people are the original people. Black hair, yellow skin, inherited onwards. 2. Madagascar. Share of immigrants, 0.1%. Madagascar is one of the world's poorest countries. It scores poorly on health care and education. Even food is scarce. Unemployment is pervasive. The country is also plagued by crime. Its poorest borders are exploited by international crime groups. Malagasies are leaving, and no one is coming to replace them. 1. Cuba. Share of immigrants, 0%. Cuba has a huge problem with immigrants. The number of Cubans living abroad is huge. In 2022 alone, more than 300,000 Cubans arrived in the U.S. Cuba said it will invalidate their passports. On the other hand, there's no immigration to Cuba. Cuba's population has been in decline since 2017.